Hello and welcome to episode 65 of Youth Squad Prospects 3 with Colchester United and today we're going to carry on with our heated rivalry from the championship against Burnley and we also have the two legs of the Euros League round of 16 tie against Liverpool so let's get straight into the action first game of this episode is at home against Burnley starting lineup on screen unfortunately I can't play the first team for this game it has to be the second team the first team is resting for that very important game against Liverpool in the Euro League but I do think this team can beat Burnley. Premier League action here live from the Colchester Community Stadium. We are hosting Burnley today. And it's a massive game for us, especially because City have dropped points as we saw last episode. There is the table. We can extend the gap at the top of the table to seven points. And a perfect scenario as well against our bitter rivals, Burnley. He's got it, put it forward and Peba. He has Cordoba in support. Back to him, Peba. Brilliant football in this play and it's blocked off. Yes, Nunez. Great ball through Aldasadi is wide open. Goal. Get in. Aldasadi finally can finish a one on one. He's been dropped to the second team because of that and he's shown. That he's learned from his mistakes. Ball inside, Gomez, good save by Tripakis. Very good save by Tripakis, denying Maxi Gomez early on. And again, another save. Oh, there's an injury in the box for us, that's not good news. No, please get up. Who is it? Oh. They've got it away and it's half time. Someone was lying in the box. I'm not sure who it was, but that is really concerning me. Asenjo Andres is the one that's injured, and that is really bad news. And he had a good couple of games. Last episode, he scored a screamer, and as I'm singing his praises, he goes down injured. Just perfect, isn't it? So, he goes off, and we've brought on Rybar, Wilson, and David. And I've brought Nunez back to his favorite cam spot. Bokane puts it out wide. Look who is returning to first team duties. It's Cardenas. He's toying with Burnley at the moment. Great ball. Well, in good position here. Yes. And Pebber gives it inside. Here is Callum Wilson. What a run inside. And just five minutes later, he's got a goal for himself after just coming off the bench. I think that's his first touches on the ball as well. What a start to your Premier League campaign, Callum Wilson. Take a bow. Inside, Maxi Gomez. What a challenge by Bo Kane. Well played, son. Good one too. And Davis can run this counter-attack. Yes, Ryba, give it back to Davis. Yes, can he finish it? Oh, he dragged his shot wide. Yes, Sodomo with a big header. Yes, Rybar gets in. Davis, ball, not the one that I meant to play. Cardenas still has it. Great first touch. Indeed, Rybar, man over. It's Will Davis. He still can't finish. Second miss in a row. And that's why he doesn't play very often. Uh, Tripakis has got that covered. Can we break? No, we can't. Referee doesn't allow Cardenas to carry on with the break. But that doesn't matter. 2-0 win. It's a comfortable W here for Colchester United. And the fans are happy. Eliseo Nunez was the man of the match. Very good performance by him and by Callum Wilson especially. The defence was rock solid. Tripkis had a couple of saves. It's just sad that Asenjo Andres is injured. Let's check how long will he be out for. Player injured under Asenjo Andres has suffered a bruised elbow and will be out for about five days, so that's not too bad. Scout reports are back from Uruguay, and what a play we've got here. Virgilio Sandoval, unfortunately, he is a defensive minded player, but his potential is definitely good enough. Thank God I scouted him for a further month. And then Eusebio Nunez, look how close these Nunez and names are getting. We've got three players that have the surname Nunez and start the first name with an E. 
Then now, Jordan Collins back from Japan, who unfortunately lost to Belgium yesterday. What a cracking game of football. This World Cup is a box full of surprises. We do have one player, Masao Murakami, scattered in for a further month. But I don't think he's good enough. So unfortunately, we'll have to pass on them. Scout Report is back from Ireland and nothing really to write home about. Just the players that I've scattered from the last month. Cathal O'Grady and Staunton look alright, but they are not good enough. So we're going to have to pass on them. So I'm going to be sending my 5 star 5 star over to Republic of Ireland. That is a no brainer for sure. I'm going to go for a physically strong player, yes. I'm going to go to South Korea for three months with Jordan Collins. Here's a country that we don't go that often. Ecuador will be the place for Owen Lynch to scout for talent. Here we go, the big game in this episode. We're travelling away to Anfield in the round of 16, first leg of the EuroLeague. And Liverpool have recently dropped points in the Premier League against Birmingham. So let's pile on the misery with the lucky charm of our lovely green away kit. Starting lineup on screen, and this is the side that's going to face Liverpool. It is the first team lineup with just one change. Aldersadi is getting dropped now. Malagon Rubio has impressed me, and he'll take over the inconsistent Aldersadi. And Griffiths goes into his favourite right wing. Euro League action here, live from Anfield, and we are travelling away to face Liverpool. Here is the round of 16 table, we can finally see it. And look at that, Barcelona have dropped to the EuroLeague after a poor performance in the Champions League. Here we go, I can't wait for this, I am pumped up for this. Let's go. Oh, big save by Nunez, he somehow rebounded to the Liverpool attacker. Big fake shot. Doesn't have anyone to play in though. Yes, so Bohan will have to command from deep. And here he goes. Luke Bohan. Great ball inside. Here is Morgan Griffiths wide open. You don't just leave them wide open like that. Liverpool have made a big mistake by letting Bohan and Griffiths combine. And they make him pay. Great finish by Griffiths and Carrius. As the great goalkeeper that he is, he's not going anywhere near that. Oh, effort in. Nunez has got that covered. Get in. Great ball forward. Here is Sedagan. Fake shot. Put it on the plate for Eric and Gary and Gary to rattle the crossbar. Sedagan needs to play the ball through and does carry as the nice Eric and Gary and Gary this time. Sedagan fixed his marker perfectly. Well done. This try partnership is just deadly. Look at this. I thought he was going to get tackled. That's why I stopped commentating. And then look at that for a finish. Rattles it into the left hand side. Into the left side netting. Carrius has got no chance. Great ball out wide. Here is Brandon Rose. Ronaldo shot inside. He's been fouled, surely. Referee! He's been pushed in the shirt. Don't blow for half time. Here we go. Three changes at the break. I'm refreshing the attacking midfield just to get more goals because we are away and the more goals we score, the better. And here we go. Here is the kickoff glitch in action. S1 just come off the bench, earns a corner. Bohan, big challenge. S1 puts it forward. Here is Sedagin. Needs a good delivery. And what a delivery it is. Herrick and Gary and Gary hits the post. Unlucky. Yeah, again. How many times are we going to hit the woodworks today? White plays it forward. Look at Eric and Gary and Gary go. He is tired though. Needs to lay it off. Yes, great ball through. And Alexandrov has missed that. What a save by Carriers. Get it forward now, can't even break again. The referee really likes to blow it in our face. Full time whistle blows and it's a really good 2-0 win. As you can see by the stats, we did more than Liverpool to deserve a win here today. 
So no surprise to me, maybe to you, Luke Bohan is the man of the match with a 9.6. He got one assist and he really contributed for the clean sheet. Oh yes, do have the international squad to submit. Let me know down in the comments section if you want me to play the games in the episode or just play them separately. Players leaving on international duty, I call the first four players for the Irish national team. Alder sardi has gone to Saudi Arabia, Chow Chen played for China, Eric and Gadwin Gadri goes to Cameroon, Ameson and David Harrison go to Wales, Segura goes to Bolivia, Rafael Marlero Neves gets his first cap for Brazil, congratulations. Eugenio Nunez goes to Mexico again, he's already overtook Ochoa for that place. And finally, the super sub is off to Bulgaria as usual, and Ladislav Ryba is going to the Czech Republic. One week's rest, and we face Liverpool in our backyard. Lovely to see that we've got a 2 0 aggregate lead. My main aim for this game is to not concede in front of our home fans. Well, fun fact Sweden Switzerland has just kicked off, and we're going to start our game at the same time. Here is the starting lineup on screen. It is the first team lineup, and Asenko Andres is back from injury. Let's just hold on to the 2 0 aggregate lead that we have from Manfield. Well, Euroleague action here live from the Colchester Community Stadium. We're hosting Liverpool today in the second leg. There is the table. Oh, big strike and it's just the post. Oh yes, put it through. Eric Gadamin Gadamin at the other end. Can he finally get a goal for himself? Yes, he can. The goal drought has finally ended. And Eric Gadamin Gadamin Gets on the score sheet. After Liverpool moments earlier has just hit the post, Bohan. Yes, there is Eric and Gavin Gavi. Looking for a run and again, a Senko Andres hits the post. Oh, big chance there. And he's gripped with the corner kick. Oh, Carroll and it's deflected in. Actually, no, my bad, it was today. Give the ball was headed towards him. Bit of an uh, optical illusion there for me. Didn't really see the ball going to today and I thought it was just deflected and we are 2 0 up. Let's have a look at this again. The cross comes in, there's a header in, perfectly placed for Sudegan, and he just taps it in with his head. Perfect. Thought it was the defender who headed it to the goal. Donald gets the ball back and that is half time. Just one change at half time. Griffith's got a book in and is tired, so he's off for Alda Sadi in the second half. So he's on the way. Oh and gone, big chance for Sweden and they've just been blocked off. Yes. And straight away we are off on the goal as well. Eric and Gary and Gary misses on the second of ten against Carriers. Final two substitutions for us, Joel Martin and the Super Silver Rod for O'Carroll and Brandon Rose. Okay, Stefan Dress. Pull through. Today Put it through. Perfect. So Stenko and Dress gets the third. Get it. They're leaving just a few men back and that's really punishing them, especially with our style of play. We just counter on them. Bad goal kick. Carriers gives away possession and super sub Alexandro cuts inside. And a good save. Carriers has redeemed himself there. Tempo Andres. Today again, reverse ball. Here is Eric and Gadim and Gadim for a second. He hits the post again. He's getting so unlucky. That is so not a free kick. And Liverpool got a good chance. Nunez tipped it off, but it's a goal anyway. Liverpool get a consolation here late in the 90th minute. Good save, but just fills it slightly. And by the acutest of angles, it's Oxlade Chamberlain who puts it in. Nunez gets a touch to it, but is unlucky. It hits the post and bounces back into the net. Yes, Senko Andres doesn't have the chance to release another cracker. 3-1 the final score. And 
Liverpool are out. We are going to the quarterfinals of the Euro League. Congratulations to my players. They did tremendously over the two legs. I mean, we won 3 1, but Carrius made 10 saves and only had a 7.2 because he can see the three goals. Asenko Andres was the man of the match. Could have gone to either him, Sedagin, or Eric and Gadi and Gadi. Those three up front were just magnificent. Liverpool couldn't handle their pace and their finishing today. Almost the same possession as Liverpool. We dominated proceedings out here. And Barcelona are out of the EuroLeague. Athletic Bilbao have won 1-0. Get in. That is the shock of the round. Valencia lost to Arsenal as well. Chelsea beat Tottenham 5-1. We will face Saint Etienne in the next round. Marleta Neves has picked up too many yellow cards and won't be able in the next European game which will be brrr, let's find out we will face Saint Etienne in the next round Saint Etienne have eliminated their fellow uh, French team in AS Monaco so that's going to be an interesting game Marleta Neves won't be playing for the first leg unfortunately that's it for this episode. I'm going to leave you with the league table. We are seven points away from City in the league, which is pretty decent. Ireland have qualified for the World Cup, and we are now in the quarterfinals of the Euro League. That is it for this episode. I'm going to see you all next time. That is it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to see you all next time when we play Hungary and Cameroon. And until then, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.